We'd like to welcome you back to WPB Networks. My name is Barack Obama, and I'm president of these United States. Okay, I'm Donnie Glover. I've just been always wanting to say that. Here was, I caught you off guard. See, I made you spy out of me. Here was Sam Red. And I am not the president of the United States. He I'm is the vice president of the United States. That's right. <laughs> Who we got next, man? Uh, Phil Devine. I'm the cook. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, I thought okay. You Charles. must, you must be a waiter, <laughs> right? I must That's be the waiter. Service. Secret service, <laughs> Charles <laughs> Davis. <laughs> and your restaurant meal the car, Sully's Seafood and Barbecue, fifty-five fourteen Bel Air Road, Baltimore. Takeout delivery catering. I heard you got crabs, barbecue, pork, beef, chicken. A bottle of wine, <laughs> everything that a person needs to have a Ravens party and whatever mm. other kind of party you have. You got it. Remember Sally's. Remember <laughs> Sally's. It's like your one stop social eating spot. SullySeafoodBarbecue.com. You know that now we just, we just had the boxers up here a few minutes ago. They're talking about they're getting me in the mood to do training now, right? And they all come in here talking about barbecue and all this other stuff. And so, everything. Much, so, so much, so much for the trainer, right? <laughs> so, much for the trainer. so you know, African American brothers again doing a good business. How's your business going? When did you start talking about how you got in, how you decided to get into the business? Well, I mean, uh, we actually opened up June twenty seventh, um, two thousand fourteen. And it pretty much was, um, you know, we're pretty much still in the soft opening phase. Our grand opening won't be for another two months. Okay. But um, essentially, we were educators, you know, and one of the things we did to relieve stress at the end of school, we always throw parties and stuff, and we would just play around on the smoke and learn how to cook ribs, watch the show in the Neelys one time and learn some tricks in the trade, and said, I'm going to try to duplicate that whole menu. And we sat around and we tore through it, probably spent about five, six hundred hours for a hundred dollar meal. But it, when it was all said and done, it just became a, a hobby, a passion, and it became therapeutic. You know, so, you, so you turn around and take a, a, something for fun mm -hmm. and make make a living off but of it. But the boxes exactly. said something similar. They were good at yeah, putting they together were good at, right. parties. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now they're bringing it all together. Yep. Now you're doing the same thing. Exactly. So, so tell me about the restaurant. If I come up here tonight and I'm hungry, what's on the menu? <laughs> oh, we got we got good ribs, brisket, the best in the town. We smoke our ribs for two, three, three hours. Well, tell brisket me about the salmon cake. That's what I want to hear about. The, the salmon, salmon cake? cake. Oh, it's, oh. it's smoked, smoked real salmon. Hand pick, we put it together. You know, you Fresh onions, green peppers. I mean, it's it's the best. You can't. It's just an explosion in your mouth when you touch, <laughs> taste it. It's great. What you got to say about that? I'm waiting to hear you talk about the explosion. But you got some other spices, and I mean, you have your own secret, secret. Yeah, rep, yeah. recipes. Yeah, yeah. Yep, we have our own recipes. You know, and mm. like the same thing about barbecue. You know. It's, it's big on the process, you know what I mean? You really can't take no shortcut for you, good You food. shared that with me before, right. about the smoking process. That's right, the smoking process, making our own homemade rubs and rubbing our stuff down. And like I said, you know, by us being educated, so we know we teach our staff the right way, procedurally, so that, so that way it can be duplicated, you know? And um, I mean, when it's all said and done, we're taking the time, and a lot of people don't. Then you got the right equipment. You know, we're cooking off a Southern Pride smoker, a SRG 400, only one in the state. You know what I mean? So we're trying to stay ahead of the game also. So, you know, you got the right tools to put the product out there. Now, 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 the, now the boxing promoter called out some people today. Who are you calling out about some barbecue? I mean, you you got to call somebody out to challenge it's, somebody about some barbecue now. I'll challenge anyone in the city on barbecue. It's a, it's, a, it's a pit right up the street here on Dogwood Road and, and Rolling Road. And, Mm -hmm. You know, it's a couple other people. That were, the guy is a guy on Liberty Road. This man said uh, 5514 Bel Air Road yeah, over the east side. I know. So, I mean, <laughs> he's taking all challenges. Challenge. I want to hit a challenge on it. So. Well, I'm going to tell you, honestly, though, a true barbecue person will answer this question in one way. We all can learn something from each other. Okay. Right? But right. I will stand by this. I think we have the best barbecue in the city, hands down, because our product is consistent, you know, and the proof is in the pudding. You know what I mean? I definitely wouldn't have walked away. From my from my lifelong career in mission, if the guard didn't open this one up and break it. Was your is your daddy a preacher? It's a preacher. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> you have a preacher in your family. Well, we have the prices, you know, you know, gospel singers and things. We did have a pastor in there, yeah. And do you have a lawyer in your family? 
Uh, no, I'm having an attorney on my back. Ain't no politicians in your family? Politicians? Not, not to my knowledge, dog. Educators, not to my dog. Educators. 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 You real small. Are you running for office or something? No, I'm mean, just president of the Barbecue Association. There you go. Oh, oh right. well, there is a Barbecue Association. It's starting to get political. Oh, yeah. We didn't know about the barbecue. Oh, okay. Right. okay. The president and the vice president right. of the Barbecue exactly. Association. All right, well, I guess anybody that's not in the Barbecue Association better sign up real good right right yeah, now right that's what they better do you know what I mean? especially this guy you're gonna make sure they sign and pay right. Right. Money over all right now, now, now that's a good thing look can, can i come over and get a good meal at a good price oh yeah i mean we have five dollar lunch combos daily you know uh we just rolled out breakfast this week and that's been very, wildly successful since saturday i mean we got shrimp and grits you know we got cake and eggs which is our take on steak and eggs is a crab cake and egg um, we got brisket and eggs. I'll, you know, I'll take on steak and eggs. I mean, we're rolling one. You're saying cake and eggs. Cake and yes, eggs, eggs, man. <laughs> and if I someone else does <laughs> make it up as they go, and if somebody, if somebody <laughs> we're coining that term Sir, right, right here. now. Cake, cake and, and eggs. eggs. That's us. You know, that's us. <laughs> You know, so only yeah. black people. Yeah. Certain white people, I love y'all, but black y'all people. Okay. This, is, this is some creativity yeah. at work. Yeah. You better brand. You better yeah. mess around. Cake and eggs. Yeah. How you come up with cake and eggs? He's you know, an educator. No, you, he's a no, he's a cakeologist. That's what he is. I'm trying to tell you, you know what I mean? Because you know, you look at the things they're selling. Our crab cakes, our jumbo lump crab cakes, sell really well. You know, people coming in. You know, they want to. They want a good. Y'all yeah, really got thing. jumbo lump crab cakes? Absolutely. Super lump, actually. That's the that's the crab meat I buy. Super lump. You know. That's not that, that's more than thirty two dollars a pound. Uh, you know. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. I ain't trying to get to my connect. Right. Right. <laughs> Frank Lucas, baby. <laughs> you don't know, know what happened when Boston George gave up the connect. You right. know, gotta keep it going. So if I come over, how many? If I bring my 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 gang with me, how many people can you hold in the restaurant? Well, it's actually it's a carryout. Carry we're carry we're okay. in the process right. of going through zoning to see if we can get seating in there and out the front. Okay. But um, if not, we also got within the next 12 months, we plan on opening up an actual sit-down yeah. crab and barbecue okay. spot. Okay. Well, that's good enough. Uh, may not be here, though, <laughs> you know, right. but we're working on it. Well, you going to leave Baltimore? Well, you, you know, sometimes it's hard to do business here in Baltimore. It is hard. Yeah. Yeah. hard. That's yeah. why we need leadership in political office that understands business. Yeah. Yeah. How do you let this man's business leave Baltimore? I got a problem. I'm trying not to get political, but Don't it all political. works together. Politics, economics, mm -hmm. they work hand in hand. Right. Yeah. It all works all they want to do in the black community is put up a sign, vote for the Democrats. Right. <laughs> but they won't support Sully's. But, but set, set the politics aside. It's our job first as African Americans to support our, to support our, support own. our own. Man, I've met oh. some people that was ranting and yeah. raving over hip hop fried chicken. Some black people, seriously, man. I wanted to drag them out in the middle of Liberty <laughs> Road. I mean, <laughs> if they say, I understand you complimenting them people, mm -hmm. but celebrate your own. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not the and Pakistani right. dude that came from from Islamabad. Right. Or hip hop. Yeah. yeah. Right. Hip hop fried yeah. chicken, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, look, yeah. I, look, I agree. I mean, one of our campaigns that we're running right now. Ain't no Pakistanis so. invent hip hop. Nope. No. They ain't got no chicken. fried chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> might be the ones buying the albums now. You know, we get download something real quick. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, but our, our newest campaign. We though, ain't got too just, much damn common sense, bro. That's you a mind. teacher. We ain't got oh. no damn common sense. Ain't you nobody chicken there. better than your mama's <laughs> chicken. Yeah, yeah. We had a brother in the shop this morning, right? He went, he went to the spot next door to us, so he came in this morning, and he just didn't know we were there. I don't know how he walked right by, didn't know he was there. So he seen the mac and cheese coming out the oven, and he seen the candy yams coming out the oven. And he was like, man, he said, he said, man, where am I at? I just walked back in my grandmother's kitchen. So we started giving him little samples and stuff. I mean, I can't oh, use all the he, words. He from Baltimore. Yeah, they man. only Baltimore yeah. give out testers like that. You got to give out the testers. The sweet potato <laughs> tester. <laughs> got them every time. Oh, yeah, and the sweet tea, you know, and the sweet tea, <laughs> our peach tea. But, but, you get, but the other point, like you said, we've got to support your business. And don't use that stuff if you live on one side of town and that's so far over there. It's a carrier. You having something at your house? Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you, if, if, it's, if it's right, you'll deliver the stuff uh, you're catering and all. Yeah, we deliver, we cater. And I'm being all fairness. I mean, people have come from all over the city and the surrounding county to support us. I mean, in the summer, that was, that was yeah. our biggest customer base. It wasn't even as much of the community that we were in. Yeah. People were traveling to come see us. And even on Facebook, it was a big thing that, you know, the Sully selfie was huge this, this um, summer. People was coming over there taking pictures with the food, and then it became a contest. I mean, you know, Charles and I had to be in there constantly right there just taking pictures with folks. Okay, so look in the camera and tell people why they need to come to Sully's Barbecue. 
don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Remember Sally's. There you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Straighties. You know what I mean? Didn't sell that? Yeah. Didn't sell that. Let me, let me, let me see your 30 seconds, Bill. Well, you know, now, now you're about to get me started. Because at the end of the day, remember Sully's. Just like my brother said, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself to the best barbecue in Baltimore City, hands down. You don't like it? Too bad. And get, <laughs> my address. Con- get all your contact information, website, all that stuff. Five. Remember, remember how people used to come from all over the place to go to Leon's Pig Pen? Yes. I was thinking of Leon. There you go, right here. And, and, and Sully. Rest, Sully. Rest in peace, Leon. That's right. Sully's is here. Sully's how can here. people reach you? Sully Seafood and Barbecue, 5514 Bel Air Road, Baltimore, East Baltimore. On that. 410 483 5139. Sally Seafood and BBQ. Yeah, but I gave you the card. And they got crabs too. Crab cakes. No, you got steam crabs. Steam crabs. Steam crabs, crab cakes. Not the spiders. No spiders. Steam crabs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sold out on this week. Sunday we was done. People came in buying them. I'm trying to tell you. You want to make a good Valentine's Day gift? Cake and eggs, steam crabs. crabs. Don't give her no steam crabs on Valentine's Day. You are not. That is not hey, sexy. That that's not, it does not work, buddy. Hey, my wife would love yeah, steam crabs in February on, a on, her, on her birthday. Day 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 day. That's what she did last year. Won't, on her won't be no relations that night. <laughs> <laughs> they you all in my house they now. Stink. They you stink. all in my house now. Ew, get some bleach. Bleach all and lemon. They need plenty of bleach. Is that boxer? Let me ask. This is Donnie Glover here with Sam Red. Keep watching the Glover Report on WPBNetworks.com.